Hey guys, Joey Resendez here. Uh, another year, another round of three etudes for us to um, consume our lives with for the next however many months. And we have a new book, the Luft uh, Etudes for Oboe or Saxophone. Um, they're not quite like the Fairling book. Um, there's a lot of scalar passages, arpeggio passages. So if you practice your scales and your arpeggios, you're going to be pretty good on here. Um, I'm going to do a little short little tutorial here on etude number one, uh, and uh, I'm not going to cover like measure by measure. I don't think um, we'll see how it goes, but I don't think y'all need for me to 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 go measure by measure on this. I, these etudes are not very difficult um, on them for the most part, and I think you'll be okay. But I will cover some major points here. This is etude number etude number one for the for the set. This is etude number fourteen in the book. So Allegro Molto. I think the tempo marking of this ranges from, I don't have it in front of me, but like maybe 120 to like 152. I think trying to play at 152 is going to be a mistake for most people. Um, 152 is it's going to be, I mean, honestly, kind of unattainable. Um, I have a, my metronome here, let me set it to 152 here. 152, that's... There we go. That's that's 152. And I'm not sure I could even. I mean, that's gonna be that's gonna place a lot of people out of this. So I think that I, I don't know what tempo I played it at um, in my videos. I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of 130, 132 is gonna be plenty fast. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so for the articulation to start off this day, too. there's a couple, I think, fairlings that start with this articulate, the slur to slur to um, articulation. Now the key here is just to make sure that those, the second note of the slur remains long, that you don't chop it off. So in slow motion. <laughs> I'm just keeping all those notes very, very long. Your your tongue is just going to act as a little divider between those the 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 second um, excuse, uh, second and third note of each group of four. What you don't want to do at a fast tempo is to chop that second note off like this, which may sound okay at a slow tempo like that. But once you start going faster, it's going to sound really swingy. So, other videos I've seen of this etude kind of do that, and you don't want that. You just want everything nice and buttery. One other thing I'm going to kind of mention here is dynamics. I'm not going to tell you play this here, play this here, play this here. Um, you just have to kind of make sense with the musical, make make do uh, with the artic with articulation, uh, dynamics with the musical line. So maybe do like some hairpin dynamics in you know, those first two etudes, first two measures, excuse me. And really, really snap these um, grace notes in measure three. By the way, measure your number, measure your numbers. I, th I think I've said that last year in A2. Number your measures before. Um, go ahead and pause the video if you haven't done so, because I'm going to be referring to, to measure numbers. Okay, so make sure that those those grace notes are really snappy. And you really want to kind of, you have a low B in measure four, crescendo into that so you don't crack it, okay? And make sure that we are doing a nice uh, true dotted rhythm there on ba 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 ba. What I do a lot of the times when I have um, arpeggiated passages like this, I actually write the arpeggio name um, above the the measure, so it's what it is. So I know exactly what it is. Like measure four, it's going to be B, B major. Uh, measure five, that's um, A minor. Measure six, that's E minor, the home key. So, anyways, uh, 
So going on through measure seven, eight, bum, 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 bum. Okay, measure nine. We have these these uh, one, two, three, four measures. Uh, measures nine, uh, twelve, and whatever the one with the the thirty second rest in there. What you don't want to do is to tripletize the rhythm. So I've seen um, videos where you, it just kind of sounds like a triplet, bump, but up, but up, but up, but up, which is wrong. No, 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 no. That is absolutely wrong. Da 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 da. da, da. Really, really snappy. Not, not. I repeat. You should hear that silence in there. Okay. All right. Going through measure 16, just like the beginning, long, long, long second note of the slurs. Then we have this um, like five or six measures interlude between uh, measures 18 through 22, where you have the. Ba ba da da ba da ba da da da. So I have you have, you have um, in these uh, six measures, well, actually five measures, uh, the same rhythm. Da ba da ba ba da dia dia. So make sure that you keep the articulation consistent through those five measures. Um, in the video, I put a kind of like a grand pause uh, between measure 22 and 23, just to catch my breath and to um, kind of set myself up. Breathing is gonna, I think breathing is probably the, one of the hardest things of these etudes, especially the fast etudes. So, you just kind of have to catch it in a rest. And it's okay if you drop a little bit of a beat, just I would not drop any notes. I would drop, I would drop time before I drop a note. So, so going into measure 23, or starting in measure 22, I kind of like to crescendo into that grand pause to kind of get some dramatic effect. And though we've got those two measures, I don't think I did the best job of this in the video, but I'll probably play those two measures um, loud and the second two measures soft. Just kind of give that call and response effect. And then, right here, I like to take another breath and then come in loud on that low B. This is a big old cut and paste. You got this starting on that low B. This is a big old E minor arpeggio with a scale in measure 29. And then cut and paste, same exact thing. Going into measure 39, or excuse me, 33, with a big old E minor arpeggio descending. Make sure that you play it E, D sharp, E. Not, that's wrong, okay? Measure, then you got two beats to kind of catch your breath. And then starting in measure 36, you have more of this same articulation pattern with the arpeggiating various chords. <clears throat> so, I would actually start each of these probably instead of mezzo forte, maybe start making mezzo piano, even piano, just to kind of give it that more dramatic um, dynamic effect. Big, big crescendo with a with a decrescendo going into the next bar. Then right there on that A in measure 42, I would take the breath. Ba, 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 bum. The big decrescendo, like it says. And then right here, you have this funky little line that that uh, kind of arpeggiates a E minor arpeggio with some neighbor tones in here. What's funky about it is you have the articulation, then you have the accent, which all the accent always appears on the on a on a strong beat on a on a downbeat of of each beat. But you gonna want nature's gonna want you to to, to put the accent on the tongue. So this, which is wrong, but it kind of feels like what you want to do. So I could have done a little bit of a better job in the in the, in the performance video of this, but it's kind of like. 
Let's be careful of that, okay? I think it sounds good either way. Right here, measure 47 to 53, you got these big arpeggiated lines um, with the same articulation in each. Got Make sure that the dotted rhythm is truly dotted, not like a triplet or anything. Make sure it's really snappy, really close to beat two on those 16th notes. Then right there, boom, ba 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 big breath here. And then kind of like a subito pianissimo. I would play this pianissimo with on those three dot, um three Bs leading into measure 55. Nice and bouncy too. <laughs> Sorry. And then right here, these three bars, I would keep it soft. And then, but, but keep the the um, articulation consistent. And then starting in measure fifty eight, you can start building it up towards the end. Measure 58 through measure 60, those three bars, straight up E minor arpeggio. And then it throws a little bit of a, a, of a, a wrench in the mix. In measure 61, you got the, the you have the the dominant chord B uh, B major. And then you have this in measure 62, uh, the E minor chord outlined with the neighbor tones. And the, this is the only time I think that you have this articulation in here. You got the slur three tongue one, so that's another thing's a little different about this bar. Really, really crescendo into that low B. And make sure you get the articulation down in there. If you miss that, it's like the one thing that's like you have to keep on your toes, so be careful. Now hold that high E for at least uh, five or six beats. Boom, ba boom, and don't let up. Nice vibrato, full sound, okay? Anyway, guys, get to practicing. Polish, get it, just learn it early. This thing is not that difficult. Do not cram, okay? Don't cram. Everybody could get this thing down in a month if they, if they really tried, so. Um, anyway, have fun, and I'll do videos for the next two ages. Thanks, bye.